beautiful day, Grateful Gap family. Welcome in to the Grateful Gap podcast. Here on Fridays, I come at you with different fun facts. Before I get into Fun Fact Friday, we're going to get directly into the daily verse. Daily verse for the date of June 28th, 2024, derives from the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 26, and it states as follows. Lift up your eyes to heaven and see who has created these things. Is it the one who brings out their army by number? He calls them all by name. Because of his vast dynamic energy and his awe-inspiring power, not one of them is missing. Amen. And again, it's from the book of Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 26. And it's morning, ladies and gentlemen, for Fun Fact Friday. My, I'm, I'm going to be getting fun facts from TotalFisherman.com. Again, TotalFisherman.com. And I will have the article. Uh, I will have the link to the article in the description of the episode. Also, I just I discovered this fish from I believe maybe YouTube some somewhere I was on on my phone and I was str- scrolling and I seen the African tiger fish and they were talking about the speed of it and it's like a predator fresh it's like one of the only freshwater predator fish or you know I guess I don't know we gonna find more stuff out about it but it was, it, it intrigued me and I wanted to come learn about it they they have different sizes all type of stuff so. I'm about to get directly into it, and again, I'm getting this information from TotalFisherman.com. The tiger fish. Bless me. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Excuse me. The tiger fish is the name generally used to refer to a variety of fish species of the genus Hydrocynus. Native to Africa, the tiger fish is located in scores of rivers and lakes throughout the continent. Although they can grow to quite large sizes, the African tiger fish can be seen as the equivalent to the South American piranha. There are two major species of the African tiger fish, mostly common in the South African subregion, the Hydrocynus goliath, commonly referred to as the goliath tiger fish, is the largest in the family. The goliath tiger fish can grow to more than 110 pounds and is rampant in Lake Tang- Tangiaka and the Congo River. The Hydrocynus vatitis tiger fish is the second most famous species. It can grow up to 33 pounds and is common in the southernmost areas of the African continent. Biologically referred to as the Hydrocynus vatitis, its naming is a literal combination of the English phrases water dog and striped. The Hydrocynus vatitis is, a, is common in areas around the Okanvango Delta and the Zambezi River system. Other species of the tiger fish thriving in the African continent include the Hydrocynus bravis, which, you, which can be found in Sudan, the Hydrocynus forskashi, for, for for which can be found in northern Africa, and the Hydrocynus tanzanae which can be found in Tanzania. While most tiger fish species are known to be dangerous to humans, the Goliath tiger fish is a scary expectation. Sightings recorded instances in the Congo River where unsuspected swimmers have been preyed upon. So please be aware of these fish. Again, in this any in these African areas, um, you know, somehow, some way species, you know, end up in other places around the world. So please be on the lookout for these type of, you know, uh fish. Again, they, they dwell in rivers and lake systems, or river systems and lakes, freshwater lakes, freshwater, uh, or all rivers of freshwater, because it's, it's, it's rapid running, uh, to my understanding. Let's go into what they look like. The appearance of the tiger fish. The second largest variety of tiger fish and the Hydrocynus vatitis is a fish predator characterized by a long slender shape and a forked caudal fin. Although its scales can be appropriately described as large, iridescent, and silvery, sometimes they appear to have a golden cast. The tiger fish has a colorful appearance ranging from light to dark shades, making this species fascinating to look at. However, fish that, I, that live over sandy bottoms seem to have a much lighter appearance. Distinguished by large and sharp protruding teeth, the tiger's fish jaws hold a series of replacement teeth meant to take 
the place of any tooth that might be lost or broken. So again, um, tiger fish, they like to live in warm, well oxy oxygenated waters. Again, you know, major rivers and lakes. This is where I found it at tiger. This is where I seen it at sports fishing. So tiger fish are looked upon as a fish sport um, in various places around the world. I, I think that's why I seen the information that, that the speed of it and the way it attacked this prey um, this I think this was one of the only birds that eat I mean, one of the only fish that eat birds or something well not one of the only fish like I think a lot of predator fish eat like seabirds not seabirds uh, a lot of the sea fish like the big predator fish eat birds and stuff like that but I think this is the only fresh water I think it's the only fresh water um, fish that attacks uh, birds and things of that nature yeah, so well, so fly fishing is a popular sport in South Africa. Um, I have some South African uh, audience for my platform. You no, know, y'all hit me up, man. If y'all ever you know seen one of these in person, if you ever caught one, if you ever been to a, a fly fishing competition and you seen somebody you know get a Goliath tiger fish or something, I won't even want to get that thing. That thing huge, up to 110 pounds, and they, and, and you aggressive, I mean you got it, man. You got it, but. Uh, Again, I got this information from TotalFisherman.com, ladies and gentlemen. TotalFisherman.com, and I did go over fun facts about uh, the tiger fish, the Goliath tiger fish, and the and the uh, Hydrocinus vatitis, uh, which is just a normal size tiger fish, which can go up to 33 pounds, which is not still normal size. A 33 pound fish is humongous, so I can only imagine a 110 pound fish, you know, um, but. Again, y'all have a blessed today. Appreciate everybody's love and support. Be on the lookout for, for new things coming here again over the next, just, just going forward really on, on the platform. Just be on the lookout for that. I'm excited to bring that to you all and let's make the best of it. Um, y'all have a blessed day again. As always, give God glory for today. It's an honor and pleasure to be able to wake up in the presence of God and let's make the best of it. Put your best foot forward. Do our best to show love and, and, and use as many of the characteristics of God that he's given us to benefit ourselves and to put up, put us in position to be able to become a part of God's kingdom. So love y'all. Take care of yourselves. Peace.